Welcome everyone, my name is Gerard K. Cohen and I'll be your guide for this course on meeting web accessibility guidelines. I'm a passionate front-end engineer and for the last four years I've worked on building an accessible UI framework to be used by over 80 commercial applications for one of the country's largest banks, well known for being the first to offer online banking. In this course, I will introduce and go over the differences between two major accessibility guidelines, Section 508 and WCAG 2.0 and give you my recommendation on which guideline to choose. Then I'll head straight into real world reusable code patterns and techniques by retrofitting an existing site to meet relevant guidelines. I'll adequately discuss semantic HTML, the basis for all accessibility, by demonstrating proper document sectioning, hierarchy and structure, lists, navigation, accessible tables, accessible forms, and accessible media, including images and videos. I'll round out the course by talking about responsive web design and its impact on accessibility. All along the way, I'll use a live screen reader to demonstrate the before and after of each recommendation. The only prerequisites for this course is that you should have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. To be clear, accessibility is not a checklist or a product, and doing everything exactly as I demonstrate here in this course will not guarantee an accessible compliant site. Even though I'll be going over specific tips and code examples that you can use over and over again, it's important to note that meeting guidelines is completely dependent on your particular site and content. But by the end of this course, you should have the knowledge to understand the core principles and skills on how to adapt them to your users' needs. You don't have to be an accessibility expert, but you do need to make your sites accessible. And I hope you'll join me in making the web available for everyone by learning how to meet web accessibility guidelines. <laughs>